students in present video i am going to explain about 15th problem from accounting for not for profit organizations topic i am taking this question from telangana state telugu academy it does second year accountancy session but this video is useful to all commerce students who want to know about this topic previous videos links are available in the description box let us see the question first sri hanuman jing hyderabad gives you the following receipts and payments account for the year ended 31st march 2020 receipts and payments account and additional information are available on the board receipt side he gives capital incomes revenue incomes both capital incomes means rear incomes revenue incomes means repeated incomes payment side he gives capital expenses revenue expenses both capital expenses means rear expenses revenue expenses means repeated expenses so first we have to prepare income and expenditure account heading income and expenditure account of sri hanuman jim for the year ended 31st march 2020 so current year last date is 31st march 2020 means current year starting date is 1st april 2019 so current year is 2019 20 Next year 2020-21. Previous year 2018-19. Income and expenditure account is a nominal account. So nominal account rule we should follow here. Nominal account rule is debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. So expenses losses we have to show on debit side. Means payments and amounts we have to write on debit side. But the difference is payment side he is giving. capital expenses revenue expenses both no only revenue expenses we should take on debit side similarly receipt side amounts we have to show on credit side of this account receipt side he is giving capital incomes revenue incomes both no only revenue incomes we should take here first with the payments we will start salaries 11000 salary firm pay salary to employees every month this is repeated expenditure revenue expenditure so debit side we should show two salaries 11000 in inner column because adjustment is given adjustment number 3 outstanding salary is 1000 outstanding salary means we have to pay so we are preparing income and expenditure account to know the surplus or deficit if you want to know surplus or deficit for current year current year all expenses means paid expenses outstanding expenses both we should consider similarly current year incomes and incomes to be received both we should consider so not only paid salary 11000 outstanding salary 1000 also we should consider therefore in inner column we should add plus outstanding 1000 in outer column total amount 12000 rupees next rent 1400 every month we pay rent So rent is also revenue expenditure debit side to rent fourteen hundred no adjustment so I want in outer column fourteen hundred next repairs two thousand four hundred regular expenditure revenue expenditure debit side to repairs in outer column two thousand four hundred gym equipment four thousand so gym equipment they purchased regularly they don't buy no. so if once they purchase they use that equipment for a long period for more than one year means this is capital expenditure gym equipment is a fixed asset so in balance sheet under asset side we have to show not here ignore next inverter 2000 this is also fixed asset no we purchased 2000 worth inverter in current year so in balance sheet under asset side we have to show this because regularly repeatedly you are not going to purchase this asset so capital expenditure don't show here next balance this is closing cash balance clearly is giving the date also as on 31st march 20 that is only the closing date no closing cash balance in balance sheet under asset side we have to show not here ignore so payment side completed come to receipt side balance as on 1st april 2019 this is opening cash balance if you prepare opening balance sheet then under assets side we should consider this but in present problem we need not to prepare opening balance sheet because see the adjustment number 
Jin has investments worth twenty thousand, and the total capital fund of the Jin is twenty four thousand. Capital fund is given in the question. Therefore, opening balance sheet we need not to prepare. So this opening cash balance you need not to consider anywhere. Ignore. Next subscriptions fourteen thousand. When member joins in our organization in not for profit organization. to continue his membership regularly he has to pay subscription to the firm this is regular income means revenue income credit side we should write by subscriptions adjustments are given therefore amount in inner column received amount is 14000 adjustment number 1 subscriptions received included 1000 for the previous year so previous year incomes in previous year only we should show not in current year because our purpose is to know that surplus or deficit no if you want to know current year surplus or deficit current year expenses current year incomes only we should consider not previous year or next year amounts so if a previous year or next year amounts are included in current year amounts then we have to subtract them therefore previous year amount we should subtract minus previous year previous year subscription amount is 1000 rupees now remaining amount in inner column because one more adjustment is given adjustment number 2 subscriptions outstanding for the current year 1500 for current year more 1500 should come this is income to be received we should add that plus to be received you can write outstanding word also 1500 total in outer column 14500 is current year total subscription amount okay next 10% interest on investments 2000 this firm invested amount in outside securities see the adjustment number 5 jim has investments worth 20000 in adjustments he has been given not under payment set means what already they purchased investments in previous years So in current year on these investments two thousand rupees interest K. Here investment is a capital expenditure because rarely we purchase. This is not a repeated expenditure, rare expenditure. So capital expenditure, capital expenditure amount is twenty thousand rupees. Capital expenditure in balance sheet under assets side we have to show now. So investments value twenty thousand appears under assets side of balance sheet. And on these investments, every year ten percent interest should come to us. This interest is repeated income, means revenue income. So that the interest on investment we should take in income and expenditure account. How much is received in current year? Two thousand rupees. And he has given ten percent. No, this percentage indicates interest rate. So on this at twenty thousand worth investments every year at the rate of ten percent interest should come. So twenty thousand into ten by hundred is equal two thousand means two thousand interest should come. And under receipt side also two thousand only is giving means there is no outstanding here. Two thousand should come and that amount K. So interest on investments credit side because revenue income two thousand rupees. Assume that here he has given eighteen hundred. What is the meaning of this? Two thousand should come. Twenty thousand into ten by hundred, two thousand. Two thousand should come, but only eighteen hundred k. So here the two hundred is known as interest due, interest to be received. In that case, how to show this? In inner column eighteen hundred plus to be received two hundred. Total two thousand in outer column. Okay, next interest on deposits five hundred. So on bank deposits regularly we receive interest. This is revenue income. So credit side by interest on deposits no adjustment five hundred rupees. Next one entrance fees four thousand eight hundred. So entrance fees means when a member is joining. So at the time of admission he has to pay some initial amount to us. It is known as entrance fees. Accounting treatment is if amount is small, treat it as revenue income. If amount is big, treat it as capital income. 
If he gives any instruction in the question, follow that instruction. See the point number four. Half of the entrance fee it has to be capitalized. So clearly is giving that in this four thousand eight hundred half amount we should treat as capital income. Capitalized means what? Treat it as capital income. So remaining half is revenue income. Revenue income appears in this account only. So credit side by entrance fees in four thousand eight hundred. Half is to be treated as revenue, no? That revenue income I have to write here, two thousand four hundred. So another half we are treating as capital income, capital income in balance sheet under liability side we have to show. So receipts and payments account amounts we have taken. Adjustments also once we have to verify whether we have taken all the amounts or not. First two are over, third one outstanding salary completed. Fourth one, half of the entrance fees over. Fifth one, investments and capital fund. These two appear in balance sheet, not in this account. So everything we have taken. Finally, we have to find out the surplus or deficit. Find out the totals of two sides. Credit amounts total is nineteen thousand four hundred. Debit amounts total fifteen thousand eight hundred. Difference is three thousand six hundred. Credit side we wrote incomes, debit side expenses. Income is more than expenditure, so the answer is surplus. Debit total is less, so debit side you have to show the same. Two surplus, three thousand six hundred. Two sides write down the highest total, credit total, nineteen thousand four hundred. Credit side also same. So income and expenditure account is completed. Next we have to prepare balance sheet. Balance sheet heading. Balance sheet of Sri Hanuman Gym as on thirty first March two thousand twenty. Liability amount, assets amount. First payment side only capital expenses we have to take under assets side now. First one salary, revenue expenditure, rent revenue, repair revenue, gym equipment four thousand. This is capital expenditure. They purchase gym equipment fixed asset under assets side we have to show that. Gym equipment four thousand rupees in outer call. Inverter. This is also an asset now. During the year they purchased fixed asset inverter for two thousand. So fixed asset here only. Inverter value two thousand. Balance closing cash balance in closing balance sheet under asset side cash. Don't write balance word. Three thousand five hundred. Payment side completed. Come to receipt side. Capital incomes under liability side we should take. First one balance. Opening cash balance not here because we this is closing balance sheet no ignore. Subscriptions ten percent interest on investment, interest on deposit, entrance fees. In entrance fees half amount is to be capitalized. That capitalized amount we should show under liability side. Entrance fees. Total amount four thousand eight hundred. In this half amount, we are treating as capital income. That capital income show here two thousand four hundred. Receipts and payment account amounts completed. Come to additional information. First point: subscriptions received included thousand rupees for the previous year. Suppose you are preparing previous year balance sheet, nothing but opening balance sheet. So this thousand should come in previous year, no? Then in previous year balance sheet under asset side you have to show that thousand rupees subscription to be received. But we are preparing closing balance sheet, so that thousand you need not to show anywhere in closing balance sheet. Ignore. Next one, second part. Subscriptions outstanding for the current year fifteen hundred. Current year amount in current year balance sheet we should show, no? In closing balance sheet we should show, no? This is income to be received, asset. So, asset side, subscriptions to be received. You can write outstanding subscription word also. Amount is fifteen hundred. The third part, outstanding salary is thousand. Year is not given. Meaning is this is for current year. So for current year salary we have to pay. This is a liability. Liability sir, outstanding salaries. Thousand rupees. Next fourth one, 
half of the entrance fee has to be capitalized completed fifth one gym has investments worth 20000 investment is an asset no asset side 20000 rupees and total capital fund of the gym is 24000 capital fund and the liability side in inner column to this surplus we should add if deficit comes we should subtract plus surplus 3600 rupees came on. in income and expenditure account our answer total in outer column 27600 so everything is completed finally we have to find out the totals of two sets liability set total is 31000 asset set same thus in balance sheet two sets total should be same then only your problem is correct so this is all about 15th problem from accounting for not for profit organizations topic hope this video is helpful to you thank you